Hey guys, Eric for English Creek Wilderness Outfitters here, and I've come to you today with the long-awaited products that you've all been waiting for and asking about. Uh, now what is it you might say? Well, I'll tell you, it's something specifically designed for lightweight backpacking, specifically designed for people that know how to use fire starters in conjunction with how to build a fire properly, because this is a very lightweight kit. Now what it comes with is, of course, it's got some of our excellent fire tinder, but more importantly, what it comes with is uh, a very unique striker. Now, it's all handmade. It's hand forged out of O1 tool steel by me. I do the beveling, I do everything. I do the hardening and the heat treat. Uh, everything is done by me. And then it's linked together with a very small ferrocerium rod. But I'm gonna show you what's so special about this uh, striker. Uh, now, they're only gonna be available uh, currently in this kit, but they will eventually be available by themselves uh, for about $20. I'm going to say $20 price tag. Uh, this kit will run you $30, but it comes with the uh, UST, um, the Ultimate Sur Survival Technologies uh, can canister here, and it also uh, comes with a little bit of extra refillable tinder. So you're going to notice when we dive into this that it's going to come with extra small, extra cool little tinder torch sticks and then it's going to also come with a chunk of fierce fire which you'll get uh, plenty of to refill your kits with. Uh, there won't be a, it won't be a whole package of them but you'll have plenty to reuse it multiple times. So let's dig into this and let's see why this is so cool. Why is there such a price tag on it and why is it worth it? Uh, now, we've never given the cheapest products, but we don't make cheap products. It's very inexpensive for what it is, and I think you're going to find that it's very high quality. Come on down, let's take a look. So when we dig into this, we're going to notice that it's packed uh, pretty much as tight as we can get it. Now, one thing I want you to take notice of, now this little O-ring here, this keeps the waterproof seal, but if you were in a uh, bad situation, and which you shouldn't be if you're using this kit, uh, but if you are and you need to have the next fire mentality, you could take this O-ring off and just do that and put something inside here and uh, use this as a vessel to make charred material. And then you would, of course, uh, re, uh, put your O-ring back on. So let's take this off. Now we're going to start uh, by seeing that the ferrocerium rod and the striker are both tied together with some 100-pound uh, bank line. Now this is the uh, this is braided bank line, so it's stronger, but you're not going to be able to take this apart as easy. So this is just for this and a little little bit of cordage if you need it. We're going to take this out and I'm going to show you what's really special about this striker. Now this, this one, in this particular color, is the very first edition. It comes only with this first kit and it's to the first person that buys the kit. Uh, they will come, um, you know, pretty shiny, but they will not come with this really nice finish. But what you're going to notice here, and it will be more pronounced on the other ones, there's a single dot here. And if this single dot is facing you, when you strike your ferrocerium rod, it's going to pull just a little bit of material off. It's going to be like your normal striker. But if you flip it over to the other side, you'll see that there's two dots. And there is a very pronounced uh, grabbing edge on this striker that's going to remove a lot of material from your ferrocerium rod, pulling a lot of sparks and making this a very unique tool. So even after you're all out of your fire starting uh, supplies here, you'll still you'll be able to use this to a better degree when trying to light tenders that don't have accelerants in it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you with this. Now the first person to buy this is just going to have to live with a couple strikes off of this uh, off of this rod here, but uh, maybe maybe they'll they'll appreciate that and they'll like it. So let's go ahead and let's get this uh, black material off first. And I'm just going to show you here on camera. We'll sort of zoom out a little bit here. So you get some little, little tiny sparks here. So that's normal, right? Okay. That's your normal ferrocerium striker. But when we go ahead and we turn around to the two dot, you're going to start seeing a big difference.
Now this acts the exact same way. Whether you're on a larger ferro rod or not. And what we'll do is, um, I'm actually going to prove a point here. I'm going to dig into my, my full backpack kit here and on camera and just show you how well this works. Let's see here. All right. So in here, now guys, I want you to take a look at this. I told them I would, uh, I would make sure everybody knew, but we got a big fat ferro rod from Nathan4071. He sent these over to me free of charge. Uh, I was going to pay for them. I asked him. I asked him how much, how much a new ferro rod would be. I need to get a ferro rod. And as well as the ferro rods I wanted, he also sent me this big bad boy, which lives in my backpack. So we're going to take some material off of it today and show you what this guy can do here. So let's, let's start with the one, one dot side. That's normal. So if you want to conserve your rod, use that side, use that side of the uh, striker. If you're not worried about removing material, You'll notice there's a ton that comes off of that puppy. This is not like the normal strikers you're seeing around today. This is something definitely special. I use high quality materials, uh, the same that I use in my knives, and it's all really a lot of attention goes into this. So you can buy these by themselves. There'll be a $20 price tag on them, but I really highly recommend having the little fire out the fire kit. It, it runs under two ounces. Uh, it's thirty dollars. I can include it with pretty much any of your orders if you order two packages of, or more. So go ahead check this out and you're going to be getting a refill here of these little tiny tinder torch sticks. Now these are really really cool. Let me uh, let me go ahead and do a little demonstration. So let me get out my knife here. Actually you don't even need your knife. So let's take that for example. You don't really need your knife. You've got your striker that's more than sharp enough to get this guy lit. Now the thing with these mini tinder torch sticks, they are processed to have a much deeper impregnation of the accelerant. and they're gonna burn a little bit longer than your normal tinder torch. Not uh, by 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 comparison, not uh, not overall, but pound for pound they will burn longer. So let's just oops, there we go. So there you go. You've got to burn there. And you can break these up and burn these just like that. Looks like the wind caught it. We are on top of a mountain, by the way. <laughs> just so you know. Not the most ideal place for a fire. So, let's go ahead. We saw that start up. We know this can burn. We don't need a demonstration of that. So, we'll take some fierce fire. This is our prized survival fire starter. And let's just put some of that down there. And then what we're gonna do, show you how you can also break this up. Now you might wanna conserve this, but if you're just out for a day hike and you just wanna start a minimalist fire, you could just break this up actually and just twist this with your hand and break this up into pieces. And get a really good fire going just like that. So let's just, do that really fast. Just break it up like that. And let's just try the the single the single strike there. I think we got it. Nope, the wind caught it. They got it, but it was on. This is entirely 
my fault on this one. All right, guys. Let's not look bad for you on camera here. I'm gonna switch over to the uh, double-sided just to make sure. Okay, there we go. Hopped a big piece off of there. So, there you go. And you still have a big, giant chunk left. And uh, we'll just keep uh, keep talking while this burns out. There's a little piece of tinder torch under there too. So, all right, guys. That's the idea of this kit. Is you've got yourself a smaller ferrocerium rod. Uh, these are two and a half inches by a quarter inch. And you've got a very, very nice striker. Um, top of the line. I. I really don't know of any that drop as many sparks as this. In fact, I think while this is burning, I'm gonna step back here and I'm gonna just show you how this showers it like fireworks. This is not a normal striker, guys. And then, of course, you've got your normal striker. It just get, pulls off a little bit. And of course, that's that's all fine and dandy, but I guess I had to get into that rod a little bit for it to really start showing its stuff. So. You can see just how well that does. We're throwing it quite a few feet here. So, just want to show you guys. It's quite an interesting concept. These are never going to go bad on you. And I think you'll definitely appreciate them once you uh, once you get a hold of them. So here's the fire kit, guys. Brand new, under two ounces, and all handcrafted, handcrafted strikers. Lots of time and effort put into these. They're not something that I pump out in mass. So, all right, get them today, guys, from the forge. We'll see you later. Hey guys, bet you uh, notice that little 45 on my hip there, eh? Bet you'd like me to, I don't know, take a few shots with it, eh? Well, stick around. Because <laughs> you're not going to see it today. Stay subscribed. Hit that little bell. See you later.